your life. Well, tonight, the UPN 44 10 o'clock news begins a new weekly profile on local folks who have overcome adversity and grown a lot stronger. Beasley Reese joins us now with the first in a long line of Beasley's heroes. All right, now, you know, we all have someone that we consider a hero, someone we can say we're proud to know. And tonight's Beasley's hero, Andre Ustinov, a man who now calls St. Peter's home, has won two major battles in his life. Ten years ago, the Soviet army still had the Iron Curtain drawn closed around Eastern Europe. But one man found himself on the outside of that curtain looking in, and he refused to go back. It was uh, October 15, 1987. I'm defected in Dallas. Andrei Usinov was a premier ballet dancer touring in the States with the Moscow City Ballet when he defected. He had 125 bucks in his pocket, his ballet shoes, and a yearning for freedom in his heart. He performed around the free world, married Russian ballerina Alina Martinson, and settled in St. Petersburg. Then tragedy struck on April 25, 1996. After a rehearsal for a future performance in Estonia, Andre and Elena were involved in this accident on I-275. When I practically stopped my car, but somebody was uh, behind me non-stop and smashed our car. And after that, I really difficult uh, to me explain something because I don't have really clear memory, you know. Andre was critically hurt. His skull badly damaged. Doctors and nurses tried for weeks to get Andre to respond, but mentally, he just wasn't coming around. Through it all, his dance partner and partner in life, Elena, was at his side. They just don't know what to do because my English are also very far from, you know, perfect standards. And uh, they just look for any window to communicate with me. And I believe that is some, something half miracle happened. The miracle was when nurses asked Andre about ballet and how to do different moves. He answered and even taught ballet lessons to nurses. Just seven months after the accident, Andre performs the Nutcracker Suite in Sarasota. Back. Yes, side. One. Yes, right. Today, yes, side. Andre and Elena my teach ballet in St. Pete. And they're also performing around the world. Just a few weeks ago, they danced at the Titanic exhibit in Memphis. And they plan to perform in Dallas on October 15th. That's the 10th anniversary of Andre's birth into democracy, the date of his defection in Dallas. No telling what they'll do on the 10th anniversary of their accident in St. Pete. Andre and Elena are awaiting approval of their U.S. citizenship applications, and they hope to someday get a sponsor to help them open their own dance studio. Now, if you know someone who's overcome adversity and is a hero to you, I want to hear their story. Drop me a line at Beasley's Heroes, 365 105th Terrace, Northeast, St. Petersburg, 33716, or call me at 570-4420.
been watching the dancing of Elena Martinson and Andre Ustinov. They are former uh, performers with the Kirov Ballet in St. Petersburg, Russia, and it was a really a wonderful uh, display Ooh. of the last moments aboard the Titanic. You know, they are actually an immigrant couple, and they're portraying an immigrant couple, so they have a very real connection to it. We'll take you back to the performance now. Jim Entwistle there performing uh, the part of Captain E.J. Smith and striking a remarkable oh. resemblance to pictures of the real captain. Definitely. Well, we'll take a break now. We'll be back as we conclude our program. The privilege to bring him to the world 
first for the premier exhibition. And we will be forever grateful, Bill, for that decision. Also from London, England, Mr. Dennis Cochran, one of the foremost collectors and experts on the Titanic in the entire world who shared with us